Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Sneaker Shopping Therapy and yeah, your boy has a number of shoes to show you man. I'm gonna start with these, which are here, which are my Converse exclusives man. I finally undies these bad boys. I think they're absolutely dope, absolutely fire. Um, I do absolutely love them man. Just a little bit of bling everywhere on the shoe. I picked these up quite a while ago, so probably about last year, maybe last year, and I just haven't undies them. So finally undies these yesterday. And yeah, if you're on my Instagram, then you know. Uh, finally got these bad boys out and on foot, you know what I mean? So that was really, really nice. I think they're an absolutely dope shoe. And I do love a Converse exclusive. Occasionally you get a nice exclusive from Converse and I do try and pick them up, especially if I'm at the outlet and I see them, I'm definitely gonna grab them. But I have some shoes to show you today, man. Came home to this, man. I cannot believe I came home to this. Big up to the bay. She kind of hooked me up. I, I know what's in there because I've kind of, as you can see, opened this up already, but it is from Offspring. Uh, so it is actually from them. Let me get inside. And I do love, if you know what that is, then you should know. If you don't know, that's on you. But yeah, man, these are absolutely dope, absolutely fire. Maybe I'll turn it upside down so you guys can see. These are Vans X Vivian Westwood. And I saw these, man. Offspring kind of dropped these on their site, and I was kind of like, boy, I would really like a pair of these. I really like a pair of these. And yeah, I got hooked up, man. Bay hooked me up. And these are absolutely dope. Look at these little loafers, man. Little loafers with the Vivian Westwood symbol on top. These are absolutely dope. Can't wait to wear these to work, man. Can't wait to put these on foot. You get little bands on the side. These are absolutely thick sole, man. I can't believe, but they are mad comfy. They are absolutely mad comfy, but I do love them, man. And back, you get the off the wall as well. And I'll just show you the other one because it is exactly the same. But a dope sick shoe, man. A dope sick shoe. Now, everyone knows I don't agree with wearing Vans. Normally, I don't tend to wear anything Vans, right? Except for maybe my, let me have a look, my David Bowie's. Yeah, which are the only other Vans that I have. So these are the only other Vans that I have in my collection. Which are these ones, yeah? So I don't know if you saw these, but I do love these as well. So two pairs of Vans. In my total shoe collection, um, I have two pairs of Vans total, man, and that's it. These are yellowing up really, really nicely. Um, so they're aging really, really well. I don't mind that on the shoe, especially my Converse and obviously these. But the fact that they're getting some yellowing on, on the, I don't know if it's leather, pleather, whatever, I'm gonna hope it's leather that they've used, but yeah, definitely a dope six shoe. Another one, my DJ Khaled voice to the collection, man. So just take a quick look so you guys can focus. And they did have some highs and low tops, which are actually dope. I think they completely sold out of those but I'm happy to have the loafers because I think that's a really nice flex uh, for work. Just to bang those on, put those on feet. You know what I mean? And just flex in the office with a nice pair of Vans. A beautiful shoe. Thanks to the Bay for picking these up. Can't believe I got these in the collection now. Mad, mad happy man. So you can see it all there. And that sticker, this is a surefire sign, it's from Offspring, it's kind of what they do to the box. All right, so thank you to Offspring, Vans, and Bay for actually hooking the boy up with a shoe he really wanted. But we do have another shoe to show. One more. I know like two shoes, one video. I could break it out, do three videos if I wanted. But honestly, we have a box from Adidas. Let's 
Let's open it. <coughs> mm. You know I've had my problems with Ali, that's right. You've been watching the last video, so you know I've had my problems with Ali. But I kinda entered into their pre-registration jobby. You know they've got that new system where you register. So I entered into that. I didn't even want this particular shoe. I know, I think I know what shoe this is, but I do. It's not the shoe, it's not the, the Yeezy Boo. That's still not resolved. That's still a problem. Trust me, that's still a problem. I will update you on that when I get another update because that's still a problem, that's still a mess. But I did order another shoe. My brother asked me basically, he's in Dubai, and he said, look, can you try and grab this shoe for me? So I really want this shoe. Um, I don't know if I hit on my side, because you know it's a bit of a problem, even with the pre-registration, because there's so many people, resellers, whatever, bots, and all the madness to deal with in the sneaker game, right? But. <sighs> I managed to hit. Check out your shoe. 350. Did I hit in my size? No, as you can tell, because this is a UK nine and a half. That's like two sizes to what I would normally cop in a 350. So this is not going to work for me. Worse yet, turns out the bro hit as well. I'm not going to ship the 350 to Dubai. He says, look, I'm good. I'm Gucci, I got a pair. So I'm gonna do something with these. I don't know. I may just flip them or I may do, should I do like, um, let me know in the comments. If you think I should do something like a 20 pound entry with like 10 slots. No, 12 slots, we'll make it 12 slots. 20 pounds UK money for a chance to win this particularly easy. But no, they're legit because that's all I do with, deal with, right? And you've seen me unbox them. So you know they're 100% legit, right? So normal paper. There's nothing fancy by the looks of it in this box. And here we have it, man. Here we have the Yeezy Citroen. It kind of looks like a oatmeal-y color to me. Kind of looks like oatmeal. -y. Almost like a clear gum sole. Huh? It's a boost, so you can have a look. Squidgy, squidgy, squidgy. And it is kind of like a luminous in there. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Yeah, I mean. But it kind of like a real oatmeal with a lime green kind of glow on the mesh. I don't know. If that's probably the best kind of representation of it because you kind of can see the different color here, which is a limey green color, man but oatmeal at the same time. So it's like an oatmeal lime green kind of mix. And there's the back of the hill. You can see it all there. Really, I like, do you know what? If, if I'd known I was gonna hit on this shoe, if I'd known I was going to hit on this shoe, for certain, I was going to get this shoe. I think, because I was going for the other colorway, because there was another colorway that was coming out, so I tried to hit on that. I didn't hit, I tried on SNS, I tried on the Adidas, I didn't hit. That's the, this is the other shoe, by the way. The other foot, I should say. And I'd known I was gonna hit. There's a bit of glue in. Can you see that? There's a bit of glue in this shoe down there. 
don't know why, but be a glue. It's like all over there as well. Definitely haven't worn these and definitely haven't worn these. Just glue. Seems to have made it out of the where they've stuck down the boost to the outsole. Crazy. Just a little bit of glue. See that? Because they're trying to produce these so quick, I think. So many pairs just flooding the market at the moment. Yeezy this, Yeezy that. Every week there's a different colorway of a Yeezy. But I've been going with a cop this. In hand, I would have definitely copped this shoe because I just like the little lime, green, yellowy, luminous kind of flex to it. These aren't the reflectives. These are the standard pair of Citroëns. Um, so it's Citroen, Citroen, Citroen. Citroen, Citroen, Citroen is a colorway. Originals, originals, standard, 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 which is a US 10. So if you think that what I should do, if you think that's what I should do, is I should basically raffle off this shoe with a 20 pound entry per slot with 12 slots. Let me know in the comments, man, if you haven't got these, it's a good chance to win yourself a Yeezy 350, which you know is legit because it's coming from me. I don't mess with fakes at all. And you can have a look, man. I will send this you worldwide. I've got no problem with shipping. I've shipped stuff to America before. It's not a problem. And I will make sure it goes special, sign for delivery, all the shenanigans to make sure it gets to you from the Royal Mail services. Because um, that's all I use. I'd only ever send it Royal Mail, special delivery. It cost me probably about 30 quid shipping. Um, at least then no one gets it over the head, right? At least then no one gets it over the head. Yeah, so maybe that's what I do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a think. I'm going to think how I'm, what I'm going to do with this shoe because it's not my size. I can't wear it. Kind of like I can't wear my off-whites. Can't wear these either because, again, that's in the UK. Or, look, you know what I mean? UK 10. I can't wear those. They're half as... Well, they're about... I would say in those, probably about... A size too small for me, size and a half. I usually go up 11, 11 and a half. Um, but yeah, definitely can't wear these. Again, too small. So yeah, man, let me know what you think. If you're, if it's your size, you didn't manage to cop, maybe I'll raffle them off or hit me up on my IG. If you, if you, yeah, you know I mean, hit me up on my IG. You can always talk on my IG or put in the comment section raffle them raffle them and then uh, what i do is i will then work out a way to do the raffle uh, for you guys to be able to get the chance to pick these up with 12 slots and i wait until all the slots are filled 20 bucks all the slots are filled once all the slots are filled then we can go from there right i think that's the idea i think that's the best way to go about it. what do you think let me know, man. But anyway, that's the Adidas Yeezy Citroen 350. Absolutely dope shoe, absolute fire. Just a shame it's not my size and my bro managed to cop, I guess. The exclusive Converse. Have a look at my IG, done a few photos of that. And obviously, the most important shoe of the lot Vivian Westwood X fans. Dope, 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 dope shoe. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode. Thank you for watching another episode of Sneaker Shopping Therapy. Ciao.